Syria's new foreign minister, Faisal al-Miqdad, is in Iran on his first foreign trip since he was appointed. On Monday, he met his Iranian counterpart, Mohammad Javad Zarif. Miqdad later met Iran's president, Hassan Rouhani, and head of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Ali Shamkhani, where the two sides talked about regional issues, such as the fight against terrorism and U.S.'s destabilizing role in the Middle East. Iran's measures to fight a terrorist in Syria have always been welcomed by the Syrian government and people. The Iran-Russia Syria coalition to fight Daesh terrorists in Syria is a case in point which effectively dismantled Daesh from the Arab country. Iran's time and again emphasize on a political solution to Syria's crisis, while the U.S. continues to fund and arm terrorists in Syria with the aim of toppling the government. Syria is one of Iran's strategic regional allies. However, despite their high level of political ties, both sides agree that the level of bilateral trade between the two countries is too low. Last year, the trade volume between Iran and Syria was around $80 million. Before the Syrian conflict began in 2011, the figure stood at over $1.5 billion. This means that the conflict has been a hurdle in the way of their bilateral trade. But it's not the only problem. The existing U.S. sanctions on both countries plays a significant role. The U.S. resorted to many ways to disrupt Iran's fight against terrorism in Syria, including the assassination of Qasem Soleimani. Washington's sanctions on Syria follow the same goal of restricting and help from Iran and Russia to the Arab country. The White House isn't willing to see that its terrorist mercenaries are defeated there. Reconstruction of Syria has been a hot topic since the expulsion of Daesh terrorists from the Arab country. The United Nations estimates the cost of rebuilding Syria at $250 billion. Currently, Iran is active in a range of economic sectors in Syria, from transport to energy and engineering. Faisal al-Maghdad was named Syria's new foreign minister following the recent death of his predecessor, Walid al-Mu'allim. The top Syrian diplomat says he will keep up his country's strategic cooperation with Tehran, especially in the fight against foreign-backed terrorists in the region. He says this is a fundamental step toward restoring peace and security in Syria and the Middle East. Yusuf Jalali Prostive, Tehran.